at these three very tired schnauzer puppies. They've had a really big day today. And you may be saying, hey, wait, where's the fourth one? I know there are four of them. And that is true, there were four of them, but now there are three because today was gotcha day for our little boy, Brady. In this video, I'm going to take you into downtown Bethlehem and I'm going to show you the Hotel Bethlehem where people often stay when they come from out of town to pick up their puppies. I'll also be taking the four puppies into the hotel and introducing them to a new environment, which is a really great thing to do with puppies this age getting them exposed to new social environments and new situations. And then after we spend a little time together in the hotel room, you will see Graziella learning how to lure these puppies so that she can be really good at training. You'll also see her make some big commitments and um, we're gonna hold her accountable to what she promised to do. There's some prize, there are some surprises along the way here for her, so I hope you'll join us all the way through and uh, watch what unfolds today on Brady's Gotcha Day. Hotel Bethlehem has its own little ice cream shop here across the street, and this is the main entrance, and it is not uncommon to see a horse-drawn carriage coming along the street here. Part of the charm of downtown Bethlehem, you get uh, all this fun. Just a beautiful, charming little town. I am at Hotel Bethlehem in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania right now with this cute little boy. What a sweetie Brady is. It's Brady's gotcha day. And his mom, his new mom, has flown here from Miami, Florida today to pick him up. And she happens to be staying in the Hotel Bethlehem. And I brought along with me his siblings so that I could help them get acclimated to the new space and to make it really easy for him to feel like this makes sense. This is comfortable. So this little boy right here, Gatsby, I'm going to take them in and put them in the bathroom where I have set up the potty pads. So here we go. Let me get you out and take you in and show you where the potty pads are. Now, normally what I would do is close the door and uh, get them to use the potty pads here in the hotel room so that it makes plenty of sense to them that these potty pads are for them. And I also have water down for them. And you can see here we are in the hotel bathroom. Good job, Birdie! So Birdie's been in the carrier for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe, and uh, she knew right what to do with these potty pads when she saw them. So she did her business right there on the potty pads. But now what I'm going to do is share with you all what I am sending this little guy home with. So I'm going to go through my gotcha day bag realizing that uh, Grazi here is going to be flying with him. And so she brought her own carrier that he will be going in. And so tonight we will be putting him in this carrier so that he gets to practice. So Grazi, how about just put him in that carrier and we'll just get him playing with it a little bit. And when he wants out, we'll let him out. But I'm gonna show you some of the things here in this little bag. You've been watching him and his siblings with the cups that came with them. And so I picked this one for him because I think he's gonna be Graziella's soulmate now. Isn't that fun? And so so your soulmate My cup soulmate. for your little puppy. You. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Now this is a bag of the Purina Pro Plan salmon food. And if I could just get you to open that since I've only got one hand, and we're gonna put a, little, a few pieces of that into your hand. And you're gonna start to show him that you're going to be hand feeding him. So he's going to be eating out of your hand, literally, for the next several days. 
And in the video that I posted on um, Sunday, today, the, in other words, the video right before this one that you're watching now, I showed Birdie doing an obedience routine. And I want you to use that food to lure him into the spin and the sit and the down. And if he's not hungry right now, that's okay. But he's, he's, there's a lot to take in at the moment. So, all right, some more things I want to show you. I'm also sending you home with an absorber towel. And this will be really great on the airplane in case you need to towel anything up or uh, whatever along the way. That will really help with that. And then I have these Zooks Mini Natural Treats. And I want you to divide these into quarters. So you might actually divide a piece. Why don't you open that and I'll show you exactly what I mean. But um, you can divide that up into little, if you take one and we'll just divide it up into four, five, six pieces and put them in your hand. Okay. Terrific. Yeah. And then we'll take some of this, the kibble, okay. and we'll mix it all together so it gets to smelling good with the scent of the treats, treats that'll get um, divided up into that. And that'll get all smelling super good. And then that's what you're going to use to lure him when you are doing the sit and the spin and the down and Let's the things. Let's try this out and that, see that how we've he begun. Does. Well, again, he's in a really interesting environment. This is the first time he's been in an environment like this. So getting their attention right now with all of them together. Right. Normally, normally I would have them on a training bed, you know, when I'm doing this training. But when we leave here and he's here alone with you, there, you've got one yes. who's, who's very interested in what you're doing. No, nope, you're going to give one piece oh. at a time. Okay. And so you're going to lure. Um, it's like so everybody's interested. Yeah. Oh, yep. There you go. I look. think you've seen me do this where we're luring. Do you see how I'm luring him? Look, look, Graziella. Yes. See how I'm luring him? So that's what I'm talking about when I say lure. Yeah. Here, let me show you again. So I'm going to lure. Yes, sit. So see how he, he did a sit? He says, mm -hmm. oh, I know what this is. I'm supposed to do a sit. Yes, sit. Sit, pretty sit. So no, Graziella, you don't say sit until he's actually already sitting. Got it. This is why you're luring him. So you're luring him into... Okay, so Grazi, you're not giving them a treat until they're yeah. actually Sitting. doing Got what it. you want done. And right now, frankly, there's too many of them here to get their attention to do this. But I want you, Graziella, to watch the video that I posted Absolutely. today where you'll see Birdie. Okay. And you'll watch step by step what we're doing with her in that video. We did a, about four minutes with her. Okay. And he can do the exact same thing. So you're going to lure him into a sit and then you're going to say, yes, sit. So how many times a day would I do that? Please do that at least three times a day for three to five minutes each time. Got it. And this is how he's going to be eating. So he's going to be eating literally as he's learning. So um, if I take this right here, I get somebody's attention. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. So he gets the treat when he's sitting. When he's sitting. And you say, yes, sit. Yes, sit. Got That's it. right. But he has to be sitting before you say the word sit. Okay. He has to be in a down before you say the word down. In other words, you're luring him into position. And after he's done that five, six, him. ten. That's right. You're rewarding him for the behavior that you want to see. Wonderful. So again, I'm going to have you watch those videos. Oops. Okay. Yep. That'd be great. So what other, I love your questions, Graziella. So what other questions do you have? Um, I would like to know when I should brush him. Ah, very good. Because you right. did mention in one of your videos that they have to be brushed. Yes. And so you'll see here in this packet that I'm giving you today, okay. this is his um, microchip. So oh. he has a Buddy ID microchip in him. Okay. And also in this little baggie is a comb. comb. So if you would pull the comb out of there, I will show I'm you. I'm going to put his treat and food into my there soulmate you go. cup. Into your soulmate cup. Good idea. Yeah. And so if you, let's just pick him right up. Okay. And we can have you practice combing him here just a little bit. So you would be able to watch your favorite YouTube channels and, and comb him just like that. Yes. 
or you can um, make it a ritual right after you brush or comb your own hair or brush or comb um, you know your daughter's hair or something like that that you're also doing him oh my god look how fluffy and wonderful he is well and you'll notice how calm and relaxed and how gentle he is so he's very used to uh, being combed and being groomed and so uh, this evening when you're sitting in here in your hotel room with him, you can just practice uh, combing him. And again, it's, it's a bonding experience with him. He loves it. It makes him feel super relaxed and it will help just create the opportunities for bonding. Also in this kit, you'll see the NuVet Plus. This is a supplement that I want you to put into his food, and the instructions are right here, and the information to order your own. Uh, when he's a puppy, you're going to use the powder form, but when he gets older, you'll be able to use the wafer form of that. Oh, wonderful. And okay. so I've got enough here for you for probably a week or so at least, along with the food. And how do I use this? So what's going to happen is you're going to um, take a little bit of this food okay. and put it into a dish, a small dish with okay. some water, okay. and you'll sprinkle some of the powder. Um, okay. Ideally, he's going to get about a quarter of a teaspoon of that powder per day. Okay. And so you could divide it among a couple of different times that he's eating, but that will really help him build a, a super strong immune system. And the, there's a information here about uh, what all this new Vet Plus uh, is and does. Um, also here is a document that, uh, let me have you help me pull this out here for just a second. So this is from Quake Town Vet, and this is his health certificate. And it explains to you that he's already had one DHPP shot and he had his um, fecal sample checked and he was free of Giardia and all worms. All, um, he's all good. He's all clean. But I do Wonderful. want you to pay really close attention because, grazie, when little puppies experience stress, even okay. though they might not have shown any signs of stress at my house, right? Today, I was really paying close attention, and his little poops were nice and firm, and they looked great. But when dogs go through a significant change, like okay. this is going to be for him, it's not uncommon for them to experience a little bit of diarrhea, and we want to get on top of that really fast, really and quickly. how do I do that? Well, um, if he has any diarrhea at all over the next couple of days, I want you to reach out to me right away okay. and we'll talk through step by step what I want you to do. But I know you're scheduling or have already scheduled a vet appointment for him. Yes. And so in that vet appointment, you'll also um, share, take a, a fecal sample if you want to, have it tested. Um, that will just make sure that if anything got triggered as a result of the stress of going to a new home, that um, we catch it really, really quickly. And I also have the copies of our signed puppy agreement that we had already done. And I have my How to Raise a Sock and Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzer. Uh, this document was designed by us to guide you step by step through what you need to do in raising your new puppy. So what other questions do you have, Grazie? I am so in love with this little guy. I, um, I can't think of anything right now. All right, well, you know, part of oh, what comes- what, So what other uh, vaccine does he need and when? So he needs a DHPP vaccine okay. and he'll need that within the next three weeks, but you could get that when you take him in within the next three or four days. Okay. So you'll show your vet the um, vet records from the letter that I have here. Okay. And then they'll determine how they want to handle it based on what they use and so forth. But um, he needs DHPP. And Grazi, please do not give him a leptospirosis vaccine. Okay. Do not give him a leptospirosis vaccine at all. And please... When um, will I give him the rabies vaccine? So I suggest that at six months he gets the rabies vaccine but um, your vet may say something different and obviously i have to say to you please listen to your vet okay <laughs> okay yes Wonderful. right okay okay well um a part of what comes with getting a sock and valley cute and cuddly toy schnauzer is that you also get me and so i want you to call Best me ah, I, want Best you, part. I want you to call me as you have questions about him and training him and the 
um, YouTube videos that we create. We have a playlist here that's all about training. And so you'll be able to watch Birdie and Toffee, his siblings, as they are going through our prep school experience. And so that will show you step by step what to do with him. Okay. And now for probably, oh, excuse me, now for probably the next 15, 20 minutes or so, we're going to let him play with his siblings and get really super comfortable in this room so that when we leave, his last time here playing with his siblings, um, when, when we leave, he's all comfortable and settled in the room. So congratulations, Graziella. We are so happy for both of you, you. that um, you have a very, very special soulmate. soulmate. There you go. Soulmate. All right. Much love to both of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So Grazia and I have been working on yes, teaching ben. her how to lure, and Graziella is doing such a great job with this. We've got lots of puppies here in the yes, room, down. though. And so Birdie is doing great. So see how Graziella is holding the treat in front of Birdie's nose? Yes, ben. And then telling her as she's doing it. Yes, down. Yes, sit. Yes, Ben. <laughs> Now we did this with Brady just yes. a minute ago and Brady was doing a great job too, but we hit his max. So about three to five minutes of this and then a dog is done. Yes, it. So Graziella, say in your own words what you've it's learned. Down. Um, I've learned how to lure him, uh, how to lure Brady. Brady. Um, Describe you, what so, you're doing when you're luring. So you basically hold a treat right in front of them so they can smell it, but they don't get to eat it yet. So and say yes spin to her because she just did a great job. Yes spin. Yes spin. And give her the little treat. Oh, well, we're out of treat. So ah, okay. Get a new we'll one. grab some more. Yes, we'll grab some more. So she basically just... Let's see. Okay. Just hold the tree so she can, there. Yes, sit. Yes, Ben. And these puppies have been lure trained with their food. So what I'm recommending to you is that this is the way you feed him multiple times a day. Even though he has yes, kibble down. out, he'll have kibble out and available You'll still do this with him, and it'll be great bonding time Absolutely. with him. He will begin to learn. And the sequence that you use, I've got this in several videos, but I'll just repeat it. So we, we start off with teaching sit, and then we teach down and spin. We teach watch me. We teach stay and come. And every step of the way, we'll be showing you as we're doing this with Birdie and toffee so that uh, they're learning and you can copy along. How's that sound? Sounds incredible. I can't wait. Great. For us to keep doing this, right, Brady? Right? So one of the things I would encourage you to do, you've mentioned to me that you're going to do this every day with him, a couple times a Absolutely. day. Absolutely. And then you'll put some comments in yes. the comment section so below. So I will let everyone know how Brady's doing and how he keeps growing and how he keeps training to be an amazing schnauzer. Terrific. So we'll look forward to seeing your comments Absolutely. in the show more sections below or, or down below each of the videos on a daily basis as you are practicing what we're teaching from the day before. Absolutely. That's great, Gretzi. I can't wait. Wonderful. It'll be yeah. fine. Yes, absolutely.